What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, we got an Exit Velo showdown between two two-piece hybrids. We have the Bone Saber Hybrid, one of the 2023 bats I'm most excited about, and then we're gonna see if it's as hot as the goods. Let's get it. We got the hit tracks today here at Yankee Stadium measuring exit velo. We got the pitching machine here keeping everything consistent. And we got the same baseball for everything. Once again, making everything consistent. We got the champ row pitching machine balls. All right, folks, we're gonna get three barrels, three barrels, three barrels, three barrels, and see which is hotter. We're, we're fighting for like top three overall spots right here. These are very, very good. The select power, very, very good. It's a competitive space for BB Core this year. And I'm honestly just stoked about what they did with this bat. Really solved all the problems for the Bone Saber in my opinion. And we're gonna see if it can compete with one of the better, most popular bats in the history of BB Core here with the goods. Yeah, dude, we are ready. Already 95, come on. Caught it a little deep, but hit that well. 98.2. It's off the hands a bit. 96.7, lots of barrel on this thing. Hit that really hard. 101.6. Ooh, smash that ball. See how far it's going. 370. Ooh, hit that really well. 98.4. Uh, just missing towards the hands ever so slightly. Still really good on those though, 97. Smoked. 100.8. Yeah, baby. 102.5. I still think there's a little more in the tank there. We'll get a really good one at the end. Right off the bat, this feels uh, definitely a bit lighter and easier to whip through the zone. Oh yeah, just a lot easier to whip, man. 100.6. Oh, see ya ball. Just having a lot easier time getting the barrel there. I think that's gone. Yes, sir. 412, 100.4. Ah, see, I feel like with the goods, that's a little more flush. That's a little hands, but 98, wow. Ooh, hit well, 100.7. Kind of glitched out there. It'll go back to 100.7. There it is. Hands a little bit. It's still, wow. It's actually really good on those, 99.6. 99, 99.8. 102.1, dude, they are right there. Oh, just, I think more barrel, but just more swing weight. It's off the end a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, but. Really impressive though. Jam shot 101.5. Oh yeah. 102.5. Great bat. I have a little bit hard of a time controlling it though. Ooh, backside miss. Good piece of hitting. Oh, goodbye. Miss read. Oh, did that get out? Come on. 100.4, 412 foot double. Dang it. Do you have an idea of kind of what you're thinking I swing better? I'm always gonna lean towards something that looks easier to get. Yeah, the it does feel really, saber. it feels like I'm able to put the barrel where I want a lot easier. Like this is a bat I'd probably be more likely to game, yeah. honestly, than the goods. <laughs> Woo, that was killed. Uh, that had to have been a misread, come on. 101 two. Okay, last one. I think it's so even right now. Oh man. Oh, dude, that was insane. That was the best perfect perfect of the day. I have to give the goods another swing. There was no swing like that all day. 105.6, gotta give it one more shot. Oh, dude, first swing. Wow, one more, 103.6. Ooh, no, it's not quite there. One more for it. I mean, I, I will acknowledge, I think the goods is getting 100 plus more consistently throughout the barrel. So it's just kind of a sweet spot versus perfect, perfect power. Choice we're kind of making here, but man, it's close. Smashed it. 
that's a tiny bit off the end. It's like with the goods, I've got five to six inches of 100 plus exit velo range. But like, there's not a lot of areas where I'm really getting the 103s, 104s, 105s. And on the Bone Saber, and this even goes for like the Voodoo one, there is like a five or six inch range where I'm getting 97 plus, but there's like a one inch range or so where I'm getting 104s and 105s and 106s and really, really, really high velos. And this is definitely an easier bat to control. I feel like my bat speed's a little better with that handle, I've always said that. And the exit velos, I think overall are gonna be very, very close, but they do tell kind of a different story. Really good exit velos consistently, pretty good exit velos sometimes, and extremely good exit velos sometimes. But I honestly felt like I was able to control the barrel better with the Bone Saber. I lost the barrel quite a bit with the goods. Durability is a problem for this. If you're asking me what I'm gaming today between these two, I'm going with the Bone Saber. And man, I still might be going with the Select Power or the Atlas over either of these, but. If you want more of that big sweet spot, sort of contact hitting vibe, the Select Power is incredible. And if you really want that home run juice, I think the Bone Saber is incredible, man. So two of the hotter bats in the game, absolutely a couple tens on the power scale. These are juiced.